Shalom, 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 shalom. Brother Kadog, about your own interest in my precepts. First, I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder, elder apostles of the great millstone, stable well, peace, blessed to hopeful let. Strong shalom to I came out on the highways and byways, pushing this work in true sincerity. Strong shalom to I quality who describes this truth, and a strong shalom to the speckled bird, which are you as life forms like the nations you are scattered into. Shalom, shalom. So, as you see, it's from BBB, BBC News, man. Hey, letter from Africa. The continent no longer needs lectures from the U.S. <laughs> so, don't nobody want to hear anything from um, the great whore anymore, man, okay? Don't nobody want to hear nothing at all. The red carpet was unrolled. The hall was packed. Security was tight, and Joe Biden took the, to the stage. This was Nairobi in 2010, and Kenyans had come to listen to the then U.S. Vice President. I hope what I am saying doesn't come across as lecturing, he said in a phrase that usually heralds a lecture. I am not, he insisted, but too many of your resources have been lost to corruption, and not a single high-ranking official has been held accountable for these crimes. I was one of those watching, and at the time, the U.S. was a beacon of democracy and the rule of law, the land of the free and the brave, and the source of an inspirational dream. Ooh, hey, that's beautiful. Um, then, then the Lord say, um, Babylon has been a golden cup. This is Jeremiah 51, 7. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, our, our nations, the nations are mad. Yeah, man, they pissed off because they, they wanted to follow after the Babylon way, man. And they see that Babylon, the Babylon way ain't even the way, man, okay? They see that they've been following after illusion, man, okay? They've been following after damnation, man, death. Un unlaw uh, lawlessness, okay. Jeremiah 51 8. Babylon is subtly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. So when Babylon is suddenly fallen, hey, she ain't gonna be healed, man. Okay? Because we would have healed Babylon, hey. Let's get that. Verse 9, right behind it. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, into his own country. For her judgment reaches into heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. So, hey, that judgment is reached to the heavens. That's why Babylon ain't, ain't gonna make it, man. And all this wickedness is over here. Hey, Babylon ain't gonna make it. She's done. So, to you nations, y'all might as well, hey, ain't no freedomness over here. Ain't none of that, man. Y'all better off going back to where your family's at, man. Because this place is on its way out. What it says, arise ye and depart, because this is not your rest. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. What shall destroy you, man? The wickedness, man. The Babylon, man.
That's a lucky issue. I'm trying to find this pre sale. Say twenty four is lucky. The earth, Isaiah 24 and 5, the earth is also, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. As of two, Jake them broke the everlasting covenant, which is two-thirds of Jake is on this side. And you have these nations trying to change laws, trying to change, change the laws, statutes, and commandments to fit their own game, man. Um, Isaiah 24 and 6, therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. So that's what's coming on this place, man. Fire, man. And the ones going to be left is the remnant, you know what I'm saying? Um, the remnant of Israel and the remnant of these nations is going to have to build up the kingdom, man. Okay? Say 24. So kind. So what manner of people are we to be in all, all holy conversation and godliness, seeing that all these things will be dissolved, seeing that these things from these people breaking the the, the uh, law, statute, and commandments, they're going to get burnt up, man. And two-thirds of our people going to die with them. Okay. Lord going to plead with many by fire. Because this place is on its way out, man. Ain't no way Babylon will be here. Babylon is done, man. Isaiah 6, 16, 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Now it's going to be a few, it shall be many. Now it's going to be a little small amount, it's going to shall be many. So, so, um, Salakia. So let's get into that, that, that word. Let's get into that word for plead. Shapat, man. So, man, he gonna judge you, man, by fire, man. Shapat, Shapat, Shapat. Strong's H, 8199. Shafat. Shafat, Salakia. Shafat. Shafat. Now, you're part of speech verb, from the root, um, etymology. Look at the Strong's info. That from the root to judge. And so, yeah. Pronounce sentence um, for or against by implication to vindicate or punish. By extension to governor, passively to articulate, uh, uh, um, literally or figuratively, avenge that condemned, contend, defend, execute judgment. Be a judge. Um, be a judgment needs plead, reason, rule. Ooh, that's beautiful. To judge, governor, vindicate, punish. To act as lawgiver or judge or governor of Yahweh, man. To rule, governor, judge, to decide controversy. Of your how man to execute judgment, okay? Vindicating, condemning, and punishing. To enter into controversy, plead, have controversy together, to be judged, judge, opponent at law, okay? Participle, participle. But to basically, the point is that at the Lord gonna judge many by fire, man. He gonna plead with many by fire, which is in in, in our in our words is he gonna judge you by fire, man. He's going to, he, that fire is going to judge you. He's going to vindicate you through that fire, man, okay? All right. So, Lord willing, this is that fine. I was going to close out. Um, um, you know what? I'm not going to close out. Let me get that article. Slunk it. I almost forgot. I got to go through the spirit. But, yeah, don't know nations want to listen to Africa. I mean, um, United States, Babylon, anymore, the great whore, because they see that they're, they're falling um, if they listen to this person, okay? If they listen to this whore, they're going to fall, too. So, they already know they're going to fall anyways. You know what I'm saying? These nations know they done for falling after this whore, man. So, let's go. A decade on and a lot of ha has changed. Could Mr. Biden now get away with a lecture, however well-meaning, if he decides to visit Kenya? President Donald Trump, through his American First Policy, redefined the U.S. image abroad. But that image also, I mean, that image has also been altered through his actions and words, not least his reported dismissal of African countries and highly Degradatory um, uh, terms, derogative terms, Salankia. <clears throat> derogatory terms, Salankia. 
and though the office of the president can be separated from the individual, President Biden will, in the light of the last four years, have to address Kenya and the rest of the continent in a um, markedly um, different tone and with a markedly different message. No longer the sunshiny city. Oh. Hey, so, so yeah, come on. Ba um, Babylon is no longer the shiny city, man. No, let's go down. This is the U.S. was no longer the shiny city on the hill. Ooh, ooh. We hey, we the shiny city, man. We Jerusalem, man. We the new shiny star that you gonna see, man. Under the the the, the, the bright the bright star or your house shy, okay? Um, the U.S. was no longer the shiny city of the hill. Five people died at the protesters attempted to stop a joint session of Congress to. Certify Mr. Biden's election victory, leading to accusations that the outgoing president was attempting a, a coup. The world watched in horror as scenes on only witnessed in, shall I say, uh, S development developed democracies unfolded before their eyes. Kenyan newspaper editors were not alone in describing the events as chaotic and shameful and calling Mr. Trump disgraced. <laughs> in terms like banana republic, failed state. And fragile democracy were thrown the way of the U.S. There you go, man. That's beautiful, man. Because this plus fucker plays on his way out. And call her line, you how about she how we shot, man. Because we can't wait, man. We can't wait to get rid of this this democracy. This draconian system, man. We can't wait till the Lord get rid of it, man. You know what I'm saying? And we know I say we right along with that. Because we're going to see it, man. Okay? Um, president no longer hold the U.S. in awe and will find it easier to dismiss concerns about the dem democratic processes. In the run-up to the vote in Uganda, President Yoweri Museveni told a Channel 4 reporter that his administration's crackdown on protesters was aimed at preventing scenes similar to what unfolded in Washington. Hey, so these nations like, fuck America, man. We can do better than them. They can't even control their own people, man. So, hey, it's all prophecy for Babylon go out, man. It's all prophecy, man. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Um, pride, pride, pride is before destruction, man. Okay? America was prideful, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, this is edifying to get out and close out. Like, giving all praise out and glory to you. Yahweh, by Hashem. Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honor to the elder, elder apostles of great millstones. Do me well. Peace and blessings to the whole full leg. Shalom, shalom. Wow.